Now, what I'm going to be doing is basically, this is the peacock eyes. There we are. There's two peacock eyes with the herald and everything on them. Now, I want, what I want is the quill. This for doing bodies uh, and nymphs and dry flies and so on. Uh, so, to get to this stage, I'm going to show you how to get to this. Is a, both of us is peacock eyes and nothing but the quill is left. You can see just the quill itself. Now that's the natural and that's the dyed. This is a yellow. Now, it's reasonably easy. What you need, this is just a plastic tub. It's an ice cream tub, but I fill it in with a bit. There's about an inch of water in there. Don't overdo it because the more water you put in, the, the more bleach you'll need to put in. Uh, so basically, the bleach I use are basically this is a domestic bleach. This is a normal household bleach that you get uh, for cleaning the sink and so on. And you see, it's a thick bleach. Uh, bleach. Now, I don't measure anything. I just I've always done it this way. It always always worked for me. So I just put in a wee drop, and then using I've got the two feathers ready. I've got the bleach. Uh, sorry, the dyed. And the natural, and all we do is I just leave an eye, I'll leave a, a bit of the quill there, and I just work it within the the water and the bleach. Now it's warm water, uh, just just warm, just, I mean just normal warm water out the spigot, and uh, basically make sure. That it's, the bleach is mixed up. Now you'll see practically straight away the colour of the water is starting to change. And uh, so basically what I like to do is just work it within the fibres and keep doing that so that it evenly uh, removes the fine hair from the quill. So you can basically move hands. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing gloves. So um, I'm wearing these gloves because you're working with bleach and you don't want to be using just your hands. Now, it's, as you can see by the colour of the water, uh, it's starting to, you see fine hair floating around, starting to work. Now, this is a live, a live video. So I'm doing it as it's happening. So it doesn't take too long, especially with this this bleach here I got from Tesco's. Uh, it works. Uh, it works fine, uh, and it depends really how much bleach you put in. The more you put in, the quicker it will work. But you don't you don't want to overdo it because you want to, the fibers are easily destroyed. Uh, bleach will take the goodness out the the, the quills. I'm just going to see how it's going. Now, if, when you're doing this and you find it's not coming off, you may have to add some more. It, there's, I don't follow any rules. Maybe I should, to be honest with you, but this is just for myself. And it works for me. I've done it for years. And uh, I'm just going to leave it a second. Just to allow it to work. I'm looking at the water at the moment, you can see some fine hero sort of in there. So obviously it is working. Now I just I think you just need to be patient with it. I don't want to speed it up too much and uh, allow it to happen. Now best to leave it maybe a couple of minutes, just as it is now, because it's well worked in within the quill. And we can see how it goes. Now I've been left. Well, I've left them for a good couple of minutes. See how they're going. Now this is probably the point where you'd be thinking, right? Do I need to add any any more bleach in? But just watch. Uh, I mean, the water's getting darker, so the, the bleach is working. Now just see how it keeps going. Now. The thing to do is just to run your fingers through, see if it's coming off. 
uh, it will come off slowly. Times the slower the better, you don't want to, as I say, put too much in that you're going to destroy the quills. These are good quills, this, especially this natural here. This is very good, this is a good one. It's got a lovely colour to it, it's got a nice light colour. Uh, so you're going to get a nice quill body when you use this. See how it's going. I say you've just got to be patient. It will eventually come off. I'd rather, as I say, I'd rather use the minimum amount of bleach than trying to rush. The other thing will happen when you're obviously this is dyed yellow. Now I prefer to dye them first and then bleach them. Uh, some people might think that's uh, silly in a way, but it's to then to bleach it and then to dye it uh, does put a lot of pressure on the fibre and it will make it a brittle. Um, whereas if I dye it and then use the bleach on it, I, I feel it just doesn't destroy it as much. But it's just years of experience of working or doing this. I, mean, I don't, as I say, I don't do it all the time. I do it when I need to do it. And uh, we're getting there, we're getting close to it all coming off. Now I'm getting ready to remove the, the quills from the, the bleach. Just checking the, how it's going. Now I'd rather take them out early than wait until I get every single fibre off. Because you can always remove what's left with your nail or so. I'm just checking here. And it's looking fine, especially up near the eye, because this is the best quills are up at the tip. See, it's coming away. Just keep working them. You can see the difference to what we originally started with. I mean, there's no colour left, all the fine hair was away. So. That looks fine to me. I think I'm ready to... Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give them a wash or clean and uh, clear water, just normal water, warm water, just to take away or take away the, uh, the bleach. And then I'm going to use a hair conditioner, but we'll come back to that. Now, as you can see, I've got the, the quills. This is just basically warm water, fine, just out the spigot, nothing, nothing too warm. I've gave them a good rinse, removed the bleach, and uh, if you can see the quills there, there's very little hair left on them. Now what I do is I just basically get a, a hair conditioner now, and uh, that's just my daughter's hair conditioner. Uh, basically I just put it onto the the quills itself. And make sure you work it within all the fibres. Just right in. There's the plenty on. Right into the tip. Because what this will do is replace I mean when you bleach, I use the bleach on these, it takes the natural oil away. And you're putting it back by using the hair conditioner. And uh, you'll find that when you go to use them, they're not brittle. You work it, get a good, make sure there's, it's well in, as I say. And then all you have to do is rinse it, and I'm going to rinse it in this, this water here. Work it through. As I say, the more you spend on it, the better they'll be. And, you, and if you look at these, there's still a wee touch of fibre on there. I can remove that easily with my nail, just going against the fibre, and it'll come away. So I say I'd rather take them out early than leave them in until every single fibre's off. You'll end up with better quills if you do that. And then what I'm going to do is just clean my hands with the conditioner away. Gonna remove the gloves because we don't need them now because there's no bleach. 
and then just leave them. So I basically take away the excess conditioner and then just run it through, just lightly, taking away the excess water. And then it makes this is important that you do this. Basically open out the eye fibers, just bring them out and allow them to dry but not don't allow, don't allow them to stick together. Just to open them away if you want another. And you'll get every single quill if you do that. And then just sit it on a piece of fresh kitchen towel. So go back in five minutes or so. It doesn't take long for the, the eyes to dry. This is a dye gel. Just check, and again, just bring out the fibre. Don't force them to dry. Don't use a hair dryer or anything on them. They'll dry too quick and get brittle again. They have used these practically straight away. Uh, I've actually started tying flies, they'll tie okay, but as I say, you better to let it dry. So I just went to a bit of kitchen towel. Now just to show you, because I've already done another couple. I only do, I don't put too many in, a couple at a time and do them right rather than putting too many in and getting patchy fibres. Now these are two that I've dried, and as you can see, they're really good. Good quills, they're really nice. Uh, the the natural there, the eye one, this one that he's done is really good. But you can see there they're fine, and there's the yellow. I say you will lose some of the colour, but this is perfect for the the type of flies. If I'm tying nymphs or dries mainly, I tie a lot of dries with these, and uh, they make great bodies of quilt. And there you go. I say that's how to remove the fine hair off from the peacock eye for your the quills. Very simple, easy. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that helps you.